Recently, an earthquake shook the small country of Nepal, which lies between the northeastern uh, border of India and Tibet. And, and my guess is that probably none of the readers of this article have ever been to or plan to go to Nepal. However, I was there over a dozen years ago and I love the country, I love the people, and while there I met a uh, young college student by the name of Kumar and he was excellent. He, he, he came up to me in the middle of, of uh, Kathmandu in this kind of freelance tour guide. He said, you know, I could take you around the places that you want to see, and places you've never been, you have no idea about. And so I hired him. It didn't cost me very much at all. Um, and he was excellent tour guide. Uh, they left uh, Kathmandu. Um, he introduced me to his uh, girlfriend, Lakshmi. Had lunch with him. Um, and then a couple days ago, I saw on the internet and the news about this earthquake. disasters when they occur around the world and you have been in that particular place and know people in that place. The word disaster or an earthquake means something totally different to you than if you've never been there and know nothing about the country. Um, when I was in uh, Kathmandu, uh, I hired Kumar, and he told me the next day that he would take me around. Um, that night I had dinner, wound up with food poisoning, which is something I can do in all of Southeast and South Asia. I mean, I have, I've been in hospitals and been in hotel rooms suffering from food poisoning. You know, they say that food poisoning, uh, you're afraid you're going to die from it. And then the next moment, you're afraid you won't die from it. But most people, you know, if you're moderately healthy, in six or eight hours, are going to get over food poisoning. And I told him I just couldn't go out that day, um, which would have been our first day that he took we took the tour. And um, that afternoon, he came by the hotel that I was staying and brought me a gift. And he had a small note on it that said, I hope you feel better and hope you enjoy Nepal, Kumar. I'm right now trying to find out whether Kumar and Lakshmi are still alive. Over 6,000 people have died. They estimate that when they find all the people that it might go beyond 10,000. And I don't know whether they are alive, but I'm working at trying to find where Kumar is because I want to help him in his recovery process from an earthquake. Um, so this is a story and pictures about Nepal. But beyond that, it is about our care for other people, whether they're in disasters or hurting or in some way disadvantaged. And, and caring and, and being supportive of people is interesting because when you have felt that kind of support from somebody and you understand that firsthand, it really does mean something different when somebody says, you know, go out and help somebody else. Um, well, I'm trying to find out about Kumar and Lakshmi 
look around where you live and try to help those who need your help. In the meantime, you take care. Thank you very much for reading this article.